Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll go through tab making in Godot. So, well, first of all, what are tabs? Uh, yeah, let's be honest, you know what tabs are already. I don't know anything. You know those clicky clicky stuff you click on to change views like this? Enough! Yeah, those are tabs. Yeah, so I'm doing this because there's no specific tutorial on YouTube showing us how to do this. We Bruh. Well, sad. <laughs> so in making a tab system in Godot, what you're going to want to do when you open up Godot for the first time, so you go into your scene tab, which is usually located at the top left corner right here. So you click on 2D scene right there, and we now have a 2D scene. So back into our scene tab, you need to select the node which you just created, which is um, by default node 2D. So select this and hit the plus sign. The plus sign adds a child node to the node 2D. So press that and you need to search for a tab container. So this is it. So you create create. So there we go. We now have a tab container. I'll drag this out. You can see the handle right here. So you can drag this to the size of your um, screen which is represented by the purple line right there so we now have our tab system right here what you need to do next is add a tab node to the tab container so let's select the tab container so click on the plus sign and select tabs so this would give um, tabs control and click on create so this would create it as a child node to the tab container where we have displayed there if you take this out as a child node as you can see it's no longer displayed right there there. So you need to make this a child node of the tab container. There we go. So you can add more tabs by selecting the tab container node, click on the add child node plus sign and select another tab. The name of the tab can be modified by renaming your node right here. So I'll set this to tab1. There we go. Uh -huh. And we have that displayed as tab1 and I can set this to stars and we have that displayed as stars you can also customize your tab container you can add a team to this which i'll show you right now so to do that you need to select your tab container node head into the inspector which by default is located on the right side and scroll all the way to team right here so you need to open this up and click on the arrow facing down right here and load so I have a Windows 10 theme which I downloaded. I'll leave a link in the description just in case you want to download it. So you open that and you need to select the theme.cres. Open. And we now have that displayed. So if we have successfully changed the theme of our tab container. You can preview the theme by selecting the tab container and clicking on the theme.cres right here. And you can see the changes in the theme. So let's say I want to add in a text input into my tab one and add a color picker into my um, stab, stars tab. To do that, you need to add that as a child node of the tab. So in our tab one, which is this tab, which is currently uh, active, to select tab one and add a child node. So for this, we'll select a text um, edit right here. And this gives us a multi-line text editing control. So we create this. It creates as a child node and we're going to stretch this out by holding the handle right there and we have this so we can preview this to preview this we have to save our scene first so select and let's save this okay sorry about that close and Control s on your keyboard i'll save this as no 2d scene then preview it asks us for which um scene you want to preview so we'll select the current scene And we now have this tab system here. So I can select here and type in um, whatever I want because we have the text edits node on this tab. But we can't do that in the stars tab. As you can see, we can do that here. We can't do that here. So let's add a new node to our stars tab. Close that and let's go to our stars. Let's click on the plus sign and let's add a color um, picker. There we go. So this um, gives a color picker control. So create. And there we go. So let's scroll out and you can position your color picker by making this visible, which you can toggle the visibility by clicking on this eye icon right there. 
So you can drag your color picker to wherever you want as long as it's on the the um, styles tab. There we go. So we we'll position this in the center and let's preview this. So here we go. This is our tab one. I'll type in my name is um Giro. There we go. And in our styles tab, we have the color picker. So there you go. That's how to create a very simple tab um, system in Godot. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.